Okay, I'm going to show you how to change a membrane, or at least cover some some hints or points on changing the membrane on a desalator or water maker. Uh, the boat is an ML50, and um, there is a, a document, a PDF on, on Desalator's website that does explain how to do this. But not having ever done it before, I, I was little, I was having a little trouble. So I worked my way through it. Um, I'll just show you what I did. Basically, you know, once you free the cylinders from the housing. You know, you've got these end caps with the O-rings and the document that Amel said, or sorry, that DeSalder says, um, they tell you to put this in a vise, which is what I ended up doing. And the gentleman in Spain, who's the tech rep for, for DeSalder, he mentioned something about using water pressure. And um, I wasn't able to follow up with him before I started this project, so I'm not sure what that trick is. Uh, I mean, I can imagine, but I just went with a vise. So, you know, these things are sealed pretty tight. You gotta put the, uh, the end cap it's, I guess, Delrin or something. You put this in the vise, um, and then you, you twist the cylinder and pull, and it does take some force. At one point, I needed somebody to give me a hand to get it off. Um, and so I initially pulled off the end, the blue end, which is the low-pressure side, and I tried to extract, this is the new membrane, but I tried to extract the membrane, you know, with a pair of pliers, and it just wasn't giving. So, um, actually, I misspoke. I took off the high-pressure side, and tried to pull it out and didn't have any luck. So then I pulled off the low pressure cap and then used you know, a socket like this and pushed it through this way. You know, apparently, you, know, you don't wanna put any pressure on the, on the, inner, the inner piece. You only wanna apply pressure on, on this section right here. So I popped the old one out, you know, got the old one in, or took the old one out, put the new one in. And here's, a, here's what took me a little bit to figure out. And the document on the DeSalder website mentions this, okay? mentions this, but I didn't really quite get it. When you put this O-ring, and firstly, I should say, you know, I lubed this initially with, uh, I just used some olive oil, um, which is right here. I just put some, you know, olive oil. Um, DeSalter says use uh, like dishwashing soap. I saw another website by another uh, water maker manufacturer that used olive oil. I figured that's a good food grade lubricant. So what you wanna do is, once you get it in here, you've got to take the screwdriver and sort of work it around the circumference, okay, and push it into the groove as you apply a little pressure, and it'll start to pop in, okay. I'm not going to do the whole thing here because I'm going to have to fiddle with this. But basically, work your way around the circumference with the screwdriver, and eventually you'll get to a point where you can depress it with your fingers and push it in, okay. If you just go like this and don't take that step and try to pound this thing, you'll, you'll destroy the O-ring. And I mean, it, it just doesn't even go in. So do it that way. Um, you know, and then, you know, orient, I, I lubed all the O-rings, the exterior and the interior one in here, right, with olive oil, right? Put it on. And then, uh, you know, this end you can just pound in with a hammer. Um, and then this end, I used the socket system. Where we put that socket? This is like that. Okay, they go in pretty easily. But make sure you got it on the, either with the correct orientation because it's you're going to need a vise to get it off again if you mess that step up um, or if it's not you know placed correctly. The other thing I'd say is be really careful with any of the gray fittings on this particular water maker. I don't know what other manufacturers use. I don't know if this is Desalator or Mel. Um, these are hard to get in America. There is a U.S. distributor that's really helpful, and then you can go through. Um, oh, I don't know. One of the uh, who is it? Like Fastenal is one of the distributors, and then they can request, you know, an order from this manufacturer, from the distributor in the U.S., but there's minimum order quantities. I just wanted spares because it's very easy to drop this and damage this or lose, like, the ferrule or something. And the, uh, oh, it's kind of nice in the shot, the silver probably. So, um, but it was, like, going to be, like, three or $400 just to order, because you have to order these minimum. It's ridiculous. So I'm going to call Mel. They're real great about that, but I don't know if they're back from vacation and ask them to send me a whole bunch of these just to have as spares, uh, the gray pieces and, you know, that make up the manifold. Anyway, that's about it. Um, I hope that's helpful to somebody.